<laughs> Hard work. <look. I'm Jason Smith. I'm one of the co-founders and managing directors of Maquette. If you've ever been to a concert and you've seen the guys all dressed in black and setting up the mics and, and the stands and carrying heavy stuff and setting it all up, they're the roadies, right? Uh, and that concert wouldn't be able to exist without the roadies. They did all the work to get all the stuff there, and then the star comes out and looks beautiful and does their thing and then goes away, and then the roadies take it all down and put it away. That's what we do for the art world. This was around 2008. The economy crashed. So I started to make some extra money by going to clients' houses and um, working with uh, interior designers and doing um, installs for them. And I called it Maquette because it was this small model of, of an idea that I would love to kind of create as a, a bigger company. I didn't have any trucks or anything, but South Pass did. And I asked if Keith, who is, who's the co-founder of Maquette, would be willing to help me out and bring a truck over and move a bunch of artwork in the middle of the night. And um, we did. And that's when he saw an opportunity to reach out to me and say, hey, this is my plan. Uh, do you want to join? It was a 5,000 square foot uh, warehouse on, right on the uh, Hudson River. And it didn't ha really have an official loading dock. Um, it, was, uh, it was quite a challenge to back trucks up on the highway. <laughs> so we started at 288. We took over the lease in uh, 2011. We had one truck uh, and then one rental. Now, that move from 288 to Long Island City was our first big test. So at this point right now, we have um, three major locations. Our headquarters is here in Long Island City, and we have 155,000 square feet, uh, most of which is full climate uh, storage. We also have a uh, crate shop here. We do TSA screening and we have our offices here. Oh, and two viewing rooms. Anything we store here, it's, I always say it's, it's dynamic storage. It's not something sitting there collecting dust. A lot of times people say, oh, it's a shame, all this artwork sitting there doing nothing in this big giant warehouse. And, and that can be the case sometimes, but for particularly here in New York, everything you, you see in this, this warehouse is, is coming and going constantly. I'm surprised at how many people we actually need to man this warehouse because we have so much activity. Truckers come in, I help them whatever they need. And from there we arrange everything all around in the warehouse. I love everybody. I like spending time. This is like my second family. We have fun. Like we laugh at anything, pretty much. <laughs> it's very rewarding to me to see this family, this, this organism grow, you know, the art of it all is how do you hold it all together and how do you maintain that idea of community and just care, not just for the artwork, but for each other. It's really cool to be part of a company that's growing so quickly and so strongly and uh, seems to be highly valued by our clients, which is amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited about Maquette Boston. We have 30,000 square feet now, which has really exploded. Uh, the team up there has been doing so well. We are always ready to grow and adapt. Anytime we can figure out a way to improve as we grow, that's something that we want to prioritize.
I want to surround myself with people that know more than I do. That's 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 what we did with the creating program. Like we started as a trucking company, an installation company, a service one-on-one, face-to-face company. That's really where we are, and we still are, and that's the heart of who we are. But we never did any creating ourselves. We never actually built these boxes. Can you tell me how to make a crate? <laughs> From beginning to end. It takes a lot, and the guys I work with are incredible. So, you know, that's what it takes to make a crate. Good team. I get all caught up in it. Crate nerd, got it. <laughs> we started very early on working with One Tree Planted, um, and at that time, for every crate we built, uh, we would plant a tree. Uh, that is transformed into for every service we we perform for a client, we plant a tree. It's almost a, a meditation and craftsmanship. You know, we want to keep bringing people in that take pride in their craft, no matter what it is. Everything seems um, so basic, but it really is about the people who move it. And that's a huge part of it. That it's easy to overlook because it, it gets done, it happens. Uh, but it's a huge part of making sure our moves safely. Why would I work with any other company? I mean, believe me, I have. And uh, I mean, partly they're responsive because I've known them for so long, but partly they, they hire the right people. So, my cat, yeah. It's been a really great relationship that I've had with Keith. It's really kind of defined who Maquette is as a company. There's this idea of the beginner's mind. That basic idea has allowed, or at least me, and I think Keith, um, the ability to keep taking those little chances, you know, um, that keep pushing us forward.